Welcome back to Red Talk TV. The future of Manchester United still hangs in the balance, as a potential takeover by Sheikh Jassim looms on the horizon. While the Glazers are still undecided, Sheikh Jassim appears to be in pole position to buy the club, sparking excitement and speculation among fans worldwide. If Sheikh Jassim takes charge of Manchester United, it seems he is ready to embrace the Galactico philosophy when it comes to the club's transfer policy. Strong links to football superstars Neymar and Kylian Mbappe have emerged, with both players facing uncertain futures at PSG. However, caution is necessary, as history has shown that landing big-name signings does not always guarantee success. Since news broke about Sheikh Jassim's interest in the club, Manchester United has been associated with pursuing marquee names. Just last month, reports surfaced about the Red Devils' interest in Neymar, with PSG seemingly open to parting ways with the Brazilian star this summer. While Real Madrid may seem like a more natural fit for Mbappe, Sheikh Jassim is reportedly tempted by the idea of bringing the talented forward to Old Trafford. Talk of such high-profile signings naturally stirs excitement among fans who have been longing for a Premier League title since 2013. However, it is worth noting that six Galacticos from United's past serve as cautionary tales against relying solely on star power to achieve success. In 2014, United found themselves in a state of turmoil after the retirement of legendary manager Sir Alex Ferguson. David Moyes had struggled to fill Ferguson's shoes and was subsequently dismissed after just 10 months. To boost morale, United decided to splash the cash, bringing in Angel Di Maria from Real Madrid for a staggering fee of around £60 million, and securing a loan deal for highly regarded striker Radamel Falcao. Sadly, both players would spend only a year in Manchester, with Di Maria eventually joining PSG due to a falling out with then-manager Louis van Gaal, while Falcao failed to find his form, scoring just four goals during his disappointing loan spell. However, United seemingly didn't learn from their past experiences. In 2016, under the management of Jose Mourinho, the club broke the bank to sign Paul Pogba from Juventus, for a record-breaking fee of £89 million. While Zlatan Ibrahimović proved to be a notable exception to the trend, Pogba failed to live up to the massive price tag, despite winning the Carabao Cup and Europa League during his time at the club. In the years that followed, big-name signings such as Romelu Lukaku, Alexis Sanchez, Harry Maguire, and Jadon Sancho arrived at Old Trafford. Yet, each of them encountered their own challenges and issues during their tenure. Lukaku was eventually sold by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer after falling down the pecking order, Sanchez failed to make a significant impact, and both Maguire and Sancho have been subjects of potential departures as the club remains open to offers. And let's not forget Cristiano Ronaldo's return to Manchester United. While his 24 goals in the 2021-2022 season were impressive, Ronaldo didn't quite become the game-changer that Solskjaer had envisioned. Some even argue that his presence hindered the progress of his teammates. Sheikh Jassim's inclination toward acquiring A-listers reflects his affinity for owning prestigious assets. However, the cautionary tales of Di Maria, Falcao, Pogba, Lukaku, Sanchez, Maguire, Sancho, and Ronaldo serve as a reminder that such a strategy is not without risks. The club awaits a decision from the Glazers and the potential takeover by Sheikh Jassim. Stay tuned to Red Talk TV for more updates on this gripping Manchester United takeover saga.